it takes about 10 seconds for any recruiter to decide whether your resume belongs to trash or pass okay uh, so in this video i'm going to focus on a test which is a trash test uh, where i'm going to tell you different reasons because of which your resume might belong to trash okay your goal during this test would be to pull out your own resume and review it as i'm going through the resume which i am resu reviewing it's my own resume and finding out those opportunities where you can improve okay let me know in the comment section below how it goes uh, so let's get right into it yes, let's get right into it now before we get started there are two thumb rules that you want to remember one you have to treat your resume like a real estate right and you have to look at it from a mindset that you want to make the most out of it okay second you want to uh, focus your resume to convey your skill to convey your, the contribution that you did based on your skill and lastly the impact that you created using your skill okay now if you understood these two, uh, two rules correctly thumb rules correctly um, this will be the base of our uh, test trash test today okay so let's start with the first one now the first thing that uh, i start looking at a resume i look at is the right side of the resume and if i see there's a lot of white space in the resume that tells me that the resume has not been well written okay uh, it tells me that uh, the person has not really utilized the space uh, well okay and there is still a, still a lot of scope which is available for the person to improve uh, his or her resume by adding some more data about their skills okay now okay now if you see in this resume there is a lot of white space which is available on the right hand side of the resume that tells me that this uh, this this resume is not moving on now let's start from the top okay other thing the third thing that really puts uh, the recruiters off is these lines and tables having these lines and tables in your resume this really you know uh, compartmentalizes your resume and it doesn't really doesn't really look visually good so if you have tables in your resume definitely remove it right now uh, moving on i see a lot of people adding their whole street address in their resume i mean it's not even required no one really cares about where you live and moving on to the next one is linkedin url you know uh, i think this is one of the noob mistakes which people do uh, where they don't really customize their linkedin url in linkedin there's a there's a uh, there's an option where you can really you know customize it to just your name and which looks pretty much uh, pretty uh professional compared to something which is auto generated and which is given by default to you by linkedin okay moving on to next objective section i mean i totally hate this section because this doesn't add any value to uh, the resume i mean whatever uh, you tell here your sole objective is to get a job or you know get considered for the job that you are applying so there's no point in adding objectives uh, i have confirmed this with the uh, university career center also and they also had a similar opinion where they said it doesn't really add that much of a value compared to other content which you could add if you don't add this section so definitely take it out next is courses section now if you are a fresher and you really don't have anything to show up uh, in the resume don't just try to add courses and make it uh, look bigger or uh, more like don't just try to show fake meat on the bone okay uh remove courses it doesn't add really any value um, instead what you can look for is in some of those courses where you did some projects try to add those projects in your resume okay uh moving on to next technical skills i mean table as i said table is totally uh no no uh, doesn't really you know present the data in a uh, nicer way uh and doesn't really look good that much visually to eyes okay now in academic section if you don't have a gpa if your gpa is less than 3.5 or 3.2 you don't really need to add it one of the myths which people have is they need to have or they need to add their gpa in their resume that's totally wrong don't uh, do not even add it, it uh, if you have a low gpa you don't need to add it if you have a good gpa which you want to you know flaunt definitely add it moving on to next one of the things which is missing from the descriptions from the uh, project or the experience is the tech stack okay now i don't know how many of you know but 
your resumes go through ats uh, ats is application tracking system which looks for certain skill set words uh, to be repeated uh, at a certain frequency in a resume before it's shortlisted right so adding a text tag is your opportunity to increase the frequency of those keywords in your resume and if i see a resume doesn't uh, which is not having uh, a text tag that just tells me that okay this guy didn't really put time into improving his resume okay uh, moving on there's another element which i feel uh, is very important which is the domain now a lot of people who come from india they have worked in industry for some time and they come here they pursue their masters and during their masters they tend to change their field okay in such scenarios what ends up happening is they have experience or projects from different fields or different domains which they have done in such scenarios it's very important to add domains like android development web development full stack uh, or not full stack but web development these kind of domains in front of your resumes in front of sorry your projects that really helps to give you know a very good understanding to the recruiter who is looking over your resume now if you see as i shared the impact and your contribution you have to add it in your descriptions now how do you convey your impact is by adding numbers if i don't see numbers being added in the resume in the project description that just tells me that maybe this guy just copied this from somewhere or you know this might be just a made up statement you know uh so definitely look for adding that uh, in your resume uh, in your project descriptions okay the last point that i want to mention here and which tells me that your resume is not that good is if you don't have even a single link to the demos of your projects which are live okay that just tells me that all of these projects are maybe just school projects which are not that serious um, or maybe faked you know so definitely spend time in taking your projects to live making them available on internet maybe just host them on aws uh, with a free tier that you get and then put that link here okay lastly add achievement section if you don't have achievement section that just doesn't give a, like a complete picture of your personality as a person uh to the recruiter and the hiring manager so i definitely want you to recommend uh, i want to recommend that you should definitely add the achievement section in your resume now these were around 13 to 14 points which i wanted to share which tell me that the resume is really trash okay now if you scored more than 8 on this test definitely change it right now if you like this video definitely give a like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you